Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Joel Parker and this is Whiteboard Wednesday. This week we're talking about what's your practice fear factor. Now what this entails is that how fearful are clients and sometimes patients. You know, you, you've all heard of the fear-free practice that's coming up for patients and using pheromones and so forth to calm cats down and dogs on so forth. Really, really awesome. We want our patients to come into our practice feeling like they can just come in and be comfortable. In fact, one of the things I did was to make sure we fed dogs and cats when they came in, dogs mainly, but to make sure that they loved coming in. And so we had a lot of dogs that were not fearful about coming in because we always gave them lots of treats. More on that later or on past Whiteboard Wednesdays. But what we're also talking about here is a fear-free practice for your clients. And one of the things that's happened with the advance of medicine have been the advance of pricing. And many times people don't really see what their own medical bills are and so forth. So when they get presented with a five or seven or eight thousand dollar veterinary bill, that can be absolutely shocking. Even presenting them with a six or seven hundred dollar wellness bill for blood work uh, and lab and x-rays and so forth, you know, all under the guise, all under the efforts of high quality medicine can be quite shocking to people. And they may pay it once, but they can then be very, very fearful about coming back in the practice. And we really don't want that. We want these practices really wide open so that people can feel comfortable coming in and they'll get a fair bill for what needs to be done. Now, people realize they have to pay something. Sure, you get the odd person that thinks it should be all free, but they're quite rare. So people believe they should pay something. The question is, is it outside of their reality? Does it kind of break the reality factor on them when they get a very, very large bill? It will if it's uninspected, and that uh, uh, if it's unexpected, and that's why it's always extremely important to give lots of quotes and work through it. That's why we built the Client Complaints Builder course for you to attend uh, and twin up with staffs and learn how to sell good quality medicine. More on that later. But for today, what we want to do is check your fear factor of your clients. So number one, when you're presenting bills, here's some action steps for you. When you're presenting bills, watch your client's activation response. Uh, there's a couple things there where you can watch your client's you know, initial response actually to presenting an estimate. And is it, are they shocked? What is it? But importantly, one of the key signs as to whether a client has got a fearful uh, response to your practice is trying to activate them six months down the line to come back in for their yearly or bi-yearly wellness exam. And if people are seeing things like, oh, thanks for calling, we'll call you back later, and they never call back, you may very likely have a strong fear factor in your practice. Okay, number two, listen to your community. This is where you get out and you do surveys and so forth and you start tracking and trying to get an outside viewpoint on what your practice is like and what do people think about it. What does the community think about it? Do they, do they think positively? Do they even know who you are? Or do they think negatively like, wow, that's the expensive practice? Because my practice was expensive where I was, but we also had huge value and we spent a lot of time with people making sure they were happy. So check your community. The other one here is to have acceptable front end fees. You know, start getting in your No Pet Gets Left Behind program where the front end fees are really, really low, both for spaying and neutering, uh, examinations, even vaccines, things like that. Keep them reasonable so people can come in and meet you. And once you're in the exam room, then you can work up and present other more expensive services if that's what needs to be done. And then finally, what's becoming very, very interesting is consider wellness plans. Wellness plans initially, I thought, were just kind of an idea that didn't really, you know, they were okay. But what's happening here, for $49 a month, we're now getting people that are very comfortable coming back into practices. So for $49 a month, $59 a month, whatever your wellness plan is, it's a low amount so they can come in any time. And what this has done, interesting enough, is drop the fear factor on the practice. And that, I think, is the key element. That's the key uh, jewel in the crown of wellness plans, is that it's dropped the fear factor for clients. So super, super important guys. I want you to be busy. I want you to practice great medicine, but I want clients to feel that they really love coming in. There's not huge surprises and they're not super fearful about coming in. So consider some wellness plans after you've done your due diligence on listening to your community, look at your activation responses, listen to your clients, see what they're thinking, watch their responses, and then consider some wellness plans. Okay guys, that's what I got for you to, to, uh, this week. Remember this, watch your client's activation, listen to your community, acceptable front end fees, and consider some wellness plans. That's all we got for you. Dylan, thanks for your camera work. You're very welcome. And we will see you guys next week. Thank you.